I'm blocking in the little black areas of this cat's face. And what you really want to do when you're painting to, um, especially when you're painting realistically, is you always want to be looking at distances and where does this go compared to this. So I'm looking at my picture and I'm looking to see um, where does this spot end? How close is it to his eye? And, and how does that relate to this spot over here? Is it a little bit lower than over here? And you always want to be comparing your marks to other marks and making sure they're in proportion. Is this little spot here wider than this one over here? No, they're about the same. They're about the same kind of shape and they're the same basic length and then it gets narrower up here and it stays kind of the same rectangle shape all the way down almost to his eye so you just want to keep track and then I want to ask myself how about this mark right here does it go down further so I look very closely at my picture on the computer screen and just make sure everything's in relation correctly um, so that'll help you not get too lost in your painting as well. Now this is still a little moist so it's a good time actually just go put in some little hairs because the little hairs will stick but at least they'll still be kind of soft. So this is a good time to go put in those little details. You very rarely do in watercolor do you want to paint on a perfectly dry piece of paper. Sometimes but uh, especially at the end you want your paper to be drier so you can get those fur details but at this stage you want your paper to be pretty moist most of the time so that it stays pretty soft as I look at my picture that I'm painting from even in the picture it's soft where you normally think it was the edges were hard so pay attention to soft areas. Soft areas really help make a painting look realistic. We're not made up of lines. We're made up of shapes and colors and it all kind of blends together. Now I'm just going to continue on with my blocking in. This is all pretty dark all through here, so I'm just going to keep blocking in, keep blocking in until it finally gets to the point where it's the color I want. And now here's an ear. I almost colored in the ear. But um, that's why it's so important to keep looking at your picture and keeping track of where you are. And I'm just doing all this just to kind of give myself a road map. Later. Use your brush as much as possible to get those little fur details in. I'm just going to continue to block in and continue to layer upon layer. I'll let this dry eventually and then I'll go in with another layer and just I'll continue to add to it until I'm happy with how dark it is. <laughs> 